How's it been doing there? We're playing Unicorn Overlord. I wanted to get like an impressions video like I do for a lot of games just because I've been waiting for this game to come out. It finally came out. I got my copy delivered. So I decided to play. I love vanillaware games. So let's keep going. And I'm probably going to include the opening video before the game starts because it was very beautiful in that their art style is... God, it's always so good in these games. Um, I did get a pre-order bonus, right? No. Oh, it's if I did the demo. I did not do the demo. I wanted to go in fresh. Um, so, also, being like the preview episode overview, there's probably not going to be a lot of cuts because I'm just going to probably show the whole thing. Uh, and if people are interested, this could become another series, maybe? Let's see. Oh, not the inner sanctum. Oh, did you get two shields? I beg you, my queen, take leave of this place while you're still able. To where, I might ask? Nigh every last of Cornea's lords has forsaken us in favor of the traitor Valmore. No refuge remains for a crowned fugitive, yet the general seeks my death and mine alone. I shall not flee from that fate. Though you still can, a soul rider with Elaine at your side. Take him, Joseph. Raise that delicate seedling into a sturdy tree capable of weathering the harsh climbs that await. And pray safeguard the ring of the unicorn as well. The one ring, huh? Hold it close to you until Elaine is a man grown. He will have need of the power it bears. My queen, I... <laughs> He's standing right there. Are they coming for us? I thought he was like a baby or something. Heed well these words, Elaine. I say this not as your mother, but as your queen. From here forth, you're to treat Joseph's command as though it were spoken directly with my tongue. Do you understand? Of course, but is there something amiss? Oh, you could say that. My faith and more lies with you, Joseph. I only pray it is enough. Farewell, and may the heavens guide you. Yeah, he's like, ah, crap. Why are you just standing there, Joseph? Aren't you going to help her? 
Would that I were able, my prince. Come, we've not a minute to spare. Ah, so a tutorial fight is going to be the queen going down, probably. Don't take that out of context. Alright, so we got a shield unit, a lancer unit, a magic unit, a horse unit, and I'm assuming she's just the normal fighter unit? Oh, we're all together. Okay, so how does this actually work? Select all units, command in the move. We can move to Valmor's visit, Martian Thor. Okay. We've no time to falter. Move. Forward. Details, what we got, so. Um, okay, each character. Pile, pile thrust, assaulting lance, quick guard, cap, chevalier call. A cavalier call. Rubber protection, sting, heavy crossbow, magic, conferral, focus side, quick cast. First aid, okay, so, oh, he's a javelin and a healer? Cool. And then the queen herself, royal guard, condition one armored, prioritize fighting flight. Okay, prioritize fighting infantry, uh, condition one infantry. Interesting, all right. Oh no. Engage, organize, so I can actually edit the team. Oh, cool, I can actually edit them before the fight, that's nice. Oh, it looks sick. On your guard. I trust you. Uh. Embarrassing. I am your shield. We strive together. Does this suit you? Oh, got him. I kind of see how I get how this goes. This is kind of a bit ogre battle-y, a little uh, so soul no man, the world eater, kind of. Brace yourself. You'll see no harm. Does this shoot you? Ready yourself. He expended another one of his gems. The gems, I think, are the moves you can take her attack turn. So they're because they're going down. So you can do reds. You can do blues. And a certain amount of each one per turn. Okay. I see none of AP. Okay. He's got to get units together with the... I just wonder how many max people we can have per unit. And we started with six, now it says four. Is that how many actions we have per turn, quote unquote? I should really explain to it. Oh. Yeah, they look tough. Got him. Enlighten me, Valmore. To what end do you seek to usurp my throne? Power. Self-centered fool. It's not merely your throne I aspire towards. It's all of them. Yeah, power. Zenoira are the rightful sovereigns of Feverith. And I the blade to restore our world to its natural order. You seek to plunge the continent into war. <laughs> Fevrith need not suffer your delusions. A proper ruler demands unity, not pointless politicking with insufferable neighbors. Now, I shall achieve that unity through conquest and reclaim that which is rightfully mine. I would sooner see you slain by my hand. Yes. Oh, that's a brawl. 
I mean, we know we lose. Still cool. Ultra may be a bad guy. And yet our work only just begins. We stand now at a new dawn for Feverith, one which will see Zenoira's dominion restored at last. Curious, though, that we've no trace of the old knight's captain. About that, my lord. A lone cavalry unit was spotted riding through the eastern gate before it was barred. And the boy is lost to us. A truth obscured only by his mother's futile attempt at a counter-offensive. Hey, we beat the crap out of every guy we fought, so... of the Hollow Chronicle. Claiming himself a scion of the fallen Sonoiran Empire, Cornea's once decorated General Valmor rebelled against his erstwhile home at the seat of its monarchy, Grand Corin. Oh, damn. Its queen, Elenia, bold in the face of this staggering betrayal, stood unshrinking as the shield to her son Elaine's safe flight and mustering what meager forces remain by her side. She rallied a defense as valorous as it was damned. See, his comments make it seem like she's queen not on the up and up, but he's also evil. The young prince fell to her faithful knight, Joseph, who took wing beyond Valmor's wretched grasp to asylum on the Forded Isle of Palavia in the Holy Kingdom of Albion. So, for the next ten years, proclaiming himself Beverith's new emperor, Valmor donned a second name, Calarius, and began a relentless onslaught the continent's nations could only but struggle against. Yet each realm's endeavors fell in vain time and again, and ere long, Zenoira's final dominion was realized. His blood-soaked unification come to bear. Few dared stand against the ironclad fist of Emperor Galerius. Embers of resistance burned on. But? Yet the downtrodden could cling only to furtive hopes of liberation. Desperate prayers which fell upon deaf ears night after unceasing night. Ten years have passed Call it. since the Shroud of War first set over Cornea. The Unicorn Ring. Oh yeah, that thing. Uh, I wonder if those two are at it again. I want to trust her, but this game's well, telling me that the red guys are bad. I suppose I should be getting back. In fact, in, in video games, the red guys are always the bad guys, and the blue guys are always the good guys. It's uh, color-coded for your convenience, I suppose. Damn, this game looks good. Sorry, Elaine, but this round's mine. Ah, you always were the optimist. Oh. Damn it. You got a good hit in, I'll give you that. There's just no stopping you these days. Yet you've grown no less than I have. Still, we could likely train for the rest of our lives and even then, never manage to best Joseph. Weird to think he's back on the mainland now. If 
finally making that Liberation Army thing a reality, huh? Guess that means we'll be going up against Anoira soon. Indeed it does. The people of Cornea are suffering, Lex. Crying out for whatever help will hear their pleas. Should I turn a deaf ear to those voices, I would have little and less claim to the crown I feel is mine. That, and I owe it to my mother to see them safe. Well, yeah, but... Zenoira's got the whole world in the palm of their hand. How are we gonna fight back against that? Never shot a fire, em fire emblem protagonist before. But the heavens will surely favor those who stand for justice. You got a point there. Sorry for not sounding all too confident. Just make sure you don't take it all on yourself. I'll be with you every step of the way. Thank you, Lex. You know I can't do this without you. You got a bad feeling about Lex. You're gonna make me blush. <laughs> anyway, that's enough training for today. We're gonna miss lunch if we don't get moving. I suppose it is that time. Hmm? You see something out there? It's a ship. Looks like they're flying Zenoira colors too. An unusual? No longer safe. We have to tell the others. With you there. You head for the cathedral. I'll make sure the town knows what's coming. Seal off the harbor and do it quick. Not a soul gets off this island under our watch. All soldiers have alighted, sir. Dispatch the vanguard to the cathedral. He needs to be tough. He's got a scar across his face. We're to apprehend the target alive. Understood, sir. So you know he's here. How? It could be Joseph they're after, too. O oh, Heavenly Father, ruler of land and sky above, we pray this day for deliverance from evil. Grant us the meager sustenance to nourish our fragile bodies in the times to come. Guide our lost souls on the path to salvation. Shine down your radiant light upon us, for darkness looms thick through all corners of Febrith. Such is my request as your humble servant. In the name of the Guardian Unicorn, and that of the Holy Mother. Is that you, Elaine? Is that the bad guys? How many times must I ask you not to stomp around in the cathedral? What is the meaning of this? Did you say Elaine? Well, look what we've got here. Seems we're the first to show. Rough her up if you want, but don't forget, the girl dies and our heads will roll too. Oh, so you want her? Such depravity will not go unpunished. Not in the house of the Heavenly Father. Yeah? Then you best get to praying. <laughs> She's fast. Not as fast as us. <laughs> <What? laughs> <laughs> Surprise! Scarlet, are you hurt? Shaken, that's all. What's happening to us, Elaine? A ship has come ashore on Palavian soil, one hoisting the banner of the Zenoiran army. And are they aware that you're the crown prince? They mentioned the girl, you. so no. But we know one thing these people are our enemy, and they must be stopped. Yes, my cathedral will see no more bloodshed this day. Come. Let's move outside. Your Highness. Uh, Joseph. It's a relief to see you on Looking good for after these ten years. Hold on. Where's Lex? He went ahead to alert the town. We best find him and get to the harbor. Indeed. But first, my prince, this belongs to you. A ring. The ring of the unicorn. Queen Elenia wished for you to have it. In truth, I had intended to wait till signs of age played more deeply cross your face. But we no longer have such luxury. I have the utmost faith you'll see it secured. A keepsake from my mother. I just hope this isn't like covering up the plume Thank situation. You, Joseph. Truly. Make no further mention of it. 
Now, let us be off. Battle stages are the feel. Battle stages are the feel of combat where allies and enemy wager war in real time. Each battle stage has victory condition must be filled or to complete it, such as defeating enemy commander. The point is, base the flag. Okay. Battle start. Can I look at them? It's two dudes, level one. What does a six mean? Is that just like a power ranking? Like, what makes it a six? What does it even. Stamina six. Okay, so that means we can only do six actions? Skill attack eight. Skill attack eight. Okay, I'm sure they'll explain all that. Damn, damn this game looks good. It's like three times already, but it does. Uh, I sprung for the monarch edition of the game. No, not that monarch. Not that monarch either. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, came with the art book. I also had the Dragon's Crown art book as well. I uh, I could not get the one for Muramasa, but because it, the prices were just too high when I was looking for them. Uh, but damn, it, the art is so good in this game. Spend Valor points. How many Valor points do I have? One. Okay. So we can only do a lane unit. The day will be ours. Which is just him and Scarlet. Okay. How do you get Valor points? Between enemies and liberating towns and fortresses. Got it. Okay, um, I want to check you guys out though. That's in real time. So we just have. He has one red action, one blue action. Leader effect. Gain more valid points of enemies. That's nice. So she has, I can make her a leader of her own unit and she can provide healing assist for allied units. Nice. So she has quick heal, heal target 100%, and holy light. So as long as they can't hit her in the back, she's fine. Okay. Bronze stab, bronze sword, bronze shield, ring of the unicorn. Okay. The time is at hand. Deploy. Oh, let's get around the base still. All right. I wonder if sleep gives you valor points back, or heal or something. When all the enemy counters an enemy unit, the battle will appear on the bottom of the screen. Use it to organize and view enemy to heal before battle. Select battle. So that way you can move people around if you want to do different attacks. Like if you fight somebody and like, oh, we may need to range versus that are use more skills, which like I guess a very ogre battle E. Yep. So initiatives, when the combat turn arrives, they'll use their action skills. Which use their red AP points. So what are the blue points then? Can I see the initiatives or? And passive skills, okay. So blue passive, red active. Easy now. Good dodge, but that's scripted. Huh? Oh god. Finally, the enemy's parting blow skill triggers the end of battle performing additional attack. Oh my god, I, I want that skill. Yeah, how do we learn skills, I guess? We, march on. we won. If neither unit is defeated, the side lower hit point remaining is the loser. Good to know. It's a battle to defeat is not back and enters a waiting state, running the mumble for a short time. Ah. Interesting. Does being in a waiting state get you first strike? Okay, I was wondering if it gave him some kind of debuff. Cool, I mean, this is... I imagine this is going to get insanely complex by the end of the game. Oh, we're fully healed, too. We were not when we left the fight. And plus five... Companionship? Friendship? Is at hand. The path is set for the liberation. Oh, that's a lot of valor points. Liberating facilities will replenish valor points and boost your score by completing a stage. Abandoning additional facilities will have liberated will serve as base to challenge can be deployed. Okay.
All right, move Lex's unit, but uh, what is Lex? Uh, it's just Lex though, is that a good idea? You got it. Okay. So, uh, what next? Oh, uh, Lex, fall back. Uh, really? He is gonna die. I can't even do anything with them. It's this is because it's tutorial. Lex is probably gonna die. Is different increase mobility. The higher stand is a quick move across the stage. Ability is determined by their individual move stats of its members. In service of the royal family, I'll not fail you. As you wish. When two aliens are close proximity, you can swap. Okay, so you can do, you can back them up. Okay, good to know. Wait, I meant to do this one. Yeah, back. Prediction: How much damage you would take? So, so fire them style. Gaze upon the face of the come. This isn't so he'll take well. nine to be dead. They'll take zero. Uh, they'll take sixty-seven eyes. and be dead, and he'll take zero. <laughs> Just level 20. Okay, I got a really bad feeling about Joseph. I, I, I'm sensing a Baldurov situation here. That's right, you better run. Okay, they're just incapacitated, so nobody dies, they're just out of the fight. Uh, I, well, actually, it's too early to say that. Oof, okay. Time limit expires. What's the time limit? Move the cursor while holding six multiple units against the same owners, but the fit. Alright. Wait, I said time is at hand. There it is. I like those odds. Hold fast. Glory to the liberation. What would you ask? I'm gonna Very put well. you aside because I want I other people to get some levels up. You face me. I like it. Good dodge, good dodge.
Yes, sir. The path is set. Gaze upon. Come then. Come. Stand true. Shows in my grave yet. We march. To me. I'll not fail you. By your word. You face me. Okay, I like the battle system so far. Ooh, guarded. So close. A fine bout. Gaze upon the face of your demise. This struggle will only prolong the pain. Accept the mercy of a swift demise. I fail to understand, Hodrick. What has motivated this shift in allegiance? Joseph, Cornea's most decorated knight. I shall close the book on your tale myself. I'll guard you. I have you. I've fight in me yet. I mean, that's why I'm heading you guys there. Actually, I want you to stay, like, here, because I want them to go get that- No, 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 no! I don't want you to attack! I shall hold nothing back. Oh, no, 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 how do I stop this? I shall hold nothing back. Oh, I didn't stop it in time. Oh, God, he's gonna die. Oh, God. I wanted them to kill him. Oh, good, he, he might not kill him. I didn't realize that, like, once you send somebody to something, they're gonna go there, because he didn't technically get pushed back. <sighs> so he kept charging to that area. Did you stare death in the face at Her Majesty's side? Now, look what you've become. I may stand as your swordmaster no longer, but I can yet offer you a merciful end to your descent. Wait! Your Highness. Tell me, Hodrick. Do you remember the times you and I played together? When I was still just a boy? Yours was a bond of loyalty few knights could hope to equal. Why cast that aside and bend the knee to Galerius? I refuse to cut down a friend without first knowing how we've reached this grim conclusion. A simple reason is all I ask. Please. Elaine! Oh, as... The ring. What sorcery is this? Oh, my head! What am I doing here? Hey, were you mind control for 10 years? A spell to shackle the hearts of men. Tis the only way I can think to describe it, my prince. That ill-fated day, all the lords closest to your mother turned upon her without so much as a moment's notice. Unfortunately, my memories end there as well. A frightful power, if what you say is true. This spell of control it could be called 
Such magic would go far in explaining how Galerius so swiftly brought Fevrith to its knees. I shudder to think what unspeakable evil I wrought upon our world these last ten years, though there is no greater misdeed than turning my spear upon you, Prince Elaine. That's enough. You mustn't blame yourself any further. But I do wonder, how is this ring capable of unmaking the spell? In truth, I had believed it to be mere regalia. A symbol of your birthright and nothing more to think the power of cleansing truly exists. Your Highness, that is the Ring of the Unicorn, ancestral treasure of Cornea's royal lineage. Legend speaks of your ancestors wielding it to purify evil, but I had believed such tales to be mere fiction. Of course. The Orthodoxy has a similar story about the Holy Unicorn, how it was a sacred beast able to purge darkness from our lands. So does that mean all the other it's guys were... It's possible that the ring that bears its image is somehow capable of that same power. All the other guys we killed had their hearts clouded too? Or were they really joining? Is this like an empire the situation? This rule be built upon a foul sorcery that fetters our people. Then this ring is the ray of light that will pierce its wicked heart. Your words ring true, my prince. Indeed. Were we able to free those bound by his cruel magics? It might just bring the iron wall of Zenoira crashing down. All told, I've often found myself plagued with doubt. Is it justice that guides our march? Or paltry vendetta? Yet the answer is clear as day now. The path before us is laid bare, and all that remains now is to walk it. Walk it I will, mother. Today marks our first foray into the mists of despair which hang heavy over our home. Mists that will soon be dispelled. It may take days, months, or even years, but I shall see the duties of my bloodline fulfilled and slay Galerius like the beast he is. Well, oh, okay. Yeah, aren't they going to come back when they don't hear back from their troops? And how does Hodric fare? Well, all things considered, any fog that lingered in his mind seems to have cleared, and he stands ready to fight once more. By the way, your highness, allow me to brief you on our plans for when we arrive. Among the Liberation members I've mustered in my past excursions is a young yet skilled knight by the name of Clyde. I'll ride to bring him to you the moment we reach solid ground. Ah, that explains why he's not going to be around next map. Is something wrong? Well... No, it's nothing. Are you sure? Anxiety will be the death of you if you keep it bottled up like that. It really isn't important. I assure you, it's just... Our lives have changed so drastically from the peace we had only yesterday. It barely seems real. I can't say I feel any different. But I've always known this day would come. It's why I've spent all these years training under Joseph's careful instruction. A shame you never had the chance to meet my mother. She was always one to blaze a path forward. Royal blade in arm, but as her heir, I intend to lead in much the same way. Is that why you and Lex spent all your days banging swords down at the shore? You've seen that, have you? Okay, the phrasing there. No, Hodric was likely but one of many. And assuming the others who surrendered to Zenoira are being controlled as he was, we may just stand a chance in this. Yet our liberation is still in its nascent days. Promising, yes, but gravely fragile as well. Which is precisely why I'll need your help, Scarlet. To reclaim peace for all who have suffered. Elaine, I... Of course. I'll do everything I can. As is my role as a priestess of the Palavian Church. Hey, don't forget about me. <sighs> Chloe's like, I'm here too. doesn't come naturally to this fool. It's all right. When you've known each other as long as we have, there's no reason to let formality bind us. But there are protocols to observe. Rules we must follow as vassals in service of the crown. Still, I'm of the same mind. What mind he has, that is. I'll give my all in the royal name, your majesty. Thank you all. 
I couldn't ask for a finer group of friends. Just friends, Scarlet. You hear that? Friends. Oh, so now it tells me. Uh, focus on the story. So now we get to pick expert. Ooh, push that. No, difficulty. Focus. You know, I am extraordinarily familiar with strategy games, but can we not change this? This can be changed at any time. Okay, we'll start in normal things. I don't want to do tactical and just get angry. There's certain games I find starting hard, but like this one, I'm, I'm still getting used to the mechanics. I think I'll start normal. It's easy, I'll make it harder. Looking good in blue there, Hodrick. Why have you stopped? We're surrounded. Not the welcome party I was hoping for. Get your vile claws off of me! Let her go! Holy... I should have known you'd be behind this treachery, Renault. What is the meaning of this? Apologies for the icy reception, but we've business with the girl. What business could you have with Scarlet? Unhand her this instant. <laughs> no, I don't think that will be happening. I act under orders from Emperor Galerius himself. As for what he plans to do with her, that's not for one of my station to know. Yet I shall see it done all the same. <laughs> Scarlet! Damn it, we lost our healer. Oh, okay, I thought we were going to fight. I'm ashamed to hear you met such misfortune before I arrived. Your Highness, this man is Clive, the knight we spoke of earlier. A pleasure. Still, it rankles the mind. I never would have dreamt that Galerius was after Scarlet, and not you, my prince. Yeah, Scarlet forgot to mention that little phrase they said in the church. His name is Renault, formerly a proud servant of Queen Elenia. Not unlike myself. And just as I fell victim to Galerius and his foul magic, it would seem he has met with a similar fate. Not necessarily. All the same, why Scarlet? Perhaps her role as a priestess has something to do with it. Lately I've heard tell of Zenoira's desire to spread its roots into the orthodoxy, making one with direct ties a prime target. In any case, the risk to her safety is clear, should she fall into Galerius's hands. And sitting idly by only serves to stoke my worry further. Let us be off at once. Wouldn't do that if I was you. No chance you're helping the girl if you don't even know where you're going. And you are? Yeah, I can say, who are you? Don't worry, he's a friend. A collaborator of mine by the name of Travis. Fancy way to refer to a spy. You need intel, dirt, or just the latest weather, I'm your man. And what of Renault? Road east, faster than a clap of thunder. I can only assume he's going for the city, but the real problem is his army of mercenaries. We won't have to Renault. We've got to go through them. Your Highness, we all share your sense of urgency, but we've no hope of aiding Scarlet without first routing the enemy before us. Right. We depart as soon as we're able. Cool. Can I actually buy upgrades now? Recruit people? Oh, House Carl. House Carls are, are excellent attackers who can lower an enemy's defense to deal heavy damage. Interesting. Okay, so the Liberation's command post is captured. Defeat him. Got it. Start. Can I not buy equipment yet? Oh. I got two Valor points. Yeah, I was going to say, this is not very good. Okay, each class, so... Yeah, listen to explanations. 
So yeah, mounted class. Catholic class is just mine. We're facing enemy infantry. Makes sense. Path. Yeah, knights are good against mounted, uh, unmounted people. Yeah, hoplite. Okay, it's a hoplite. Boasting great shields, armor, and high physical defense. Hoplites are stout warriors, excel between their allies. Got it. So I guess we better off getting here. If you put me in the front row, our enemies won't be able to touch us. Thieves have high evasion, allowing them to swiftly dodge enemy attacks in the front row. Okay. Exemplary alert light. The lower in the front row will bear the burned enemy's attack, and the not only will cut down any enemy infantry. Lord and Hoplite. Lord and Hoplite share the burn enemy attacks. And the Lord will heal when he uses a lean edge. Okay. And Lord and Thief. Okay, so this is Clive, right? This is Elaine. So if we want to do... Okay, no, I want Elaine. No, no, no. I want Elaine here. We're going to do the... Wait, why can't I do the... There it is, that's what I wanted, okay. That's a Lord and Spear. And Joseph's definitely a Lord also, so if I put him there with... Wait, who... Oh, make leader. I'm like, who decided who the Lord is? Got it, okay. Oh, in that case, I want to make him the Lord. All right, so then we still have one more. Um... No, Travis is already there, okay. So we still have Clive. Clive's... Wait, what? Oh, I can only have two per unit. Oh. They will know what hit them. I meant to go back and change my units again, but whatever, it's fine. Sure thing. And then we'll deploy these guys. The day will be ours. Oh, we still got the timeline to deal with. Um, that select. You got it. Wait, select. And then move. Set. Yeah. Okay, let's see how this works. Oh, okay, I like that. finish Healing. oh that is so good Chloe you're staying in, in service of the crown. HP up by one physical attack oof okay we're not getting a lot of these stats no stopping now. You don't stand all right one more time okay, they got this I think this should be defense once for once There's the guard and she'll do the first aid. So good. That's how it's done. Okay, when anti was stand within shield right here, with the unable to move, you understand might be determined by its leader. Like unable to move, period? I'm trying, yeah. Select re okay, so there is a way to recover stamina, got it. So we can go free those towns as well. Okay. Come then. Why do you heal? Oh, is that the hoplite skill? I must never heal. Alright, that's not bad. Well fought. Okay, we should probably go attack March. the town. Sure thing. You can go back them up like right yes, here. Sir. Got it. Uh, 
Okay, so we gotta stop them from. Yeah, we're heading there right now to try to get the to try to stop their fortifications. Oh, yeah. So they'll summon more. I'm here. And if we don't you kill them, me. I can send Lex in. Oh wow, so we got we have a decent amount of time to do all this in. To me. You get the rest a bit too, okay. The time mechanics can be difficult. You're welcome. A revival orb. Sure I'm thing. sure it will. Uh, deploy. In service of the royal fam, what would you ask? Very well. Give them a chance to rest a little bit. Oh, I sent them out way too fast. He's going to kill all these guys. Oh, he stole their passive ability? I mean, their ability to use a passive ability, but dear God, that's good. I'm up. I don't know can see what that heal, what that heal icon is. Pursuit because the attack, which isn't even his attack, it's a passive ability, then it's an actual attack. Yeah, he's gonna die. He's way too good. The battle is won. A trivial undertaking. I'll not fail you. As you wish. I have taken it as our own. Do you have strength? Oh, no, it, nope. What would you ask? Very well. Awaiting your command. As you wish, I'll not fail you. Awaiting your command. Very well. No, 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 no. Oh, God. I, I had the line. I lost I the line. Hold nothing back. Oh, oh man. Once we can start using three units per, man, uh, per thing, this game's going to get insane. All right, so okay, they're healed, so they can go there and fight you these it. guys. You guys can go down here and fight these guys. The path is set. I'll not fail you. And I'll move I you here for backup. Don't. I know we we done this before. Oh, so. Okay, so yeah, taking them out of the line. Oh, that makes total sense. That's why you can, that's why you have the ability to, oh, can I, wait, I can move you guys. Oh, that's how you, that's how you do equipment. Um, I want to change your positions, reposition. Got it, okay. Ready. Yes, sir. Ah, oh, she can heal that. I have you. 
<laughs> She's like, two can play that game. I love it's obvious. I like this game. Sure thing. You got it. I am yours to command, Your Highness. This one's mine. Oh, with the crit and the kill, Chloe coming in clutch. Oh, uh, have garrison effects. No stamp protection, no wait time. Oh, you just strip skip it, okay. You guys take the garrison, which on it. Ready. Awaiting your command. Very well. Wasn't even a challenge. As expected. I mean, we got plenty of time. I was worried about the time, but we haven't used half of it yet. I mean, I don't. Yeah, we didn't really need to see what happened because we knew it was going to happen. One day, yeah, because it's the same fight that it's literally the same fight that's happened three times already. You don't stand a chance. Gaze upon the nah. he's level twenty. He's not going to hang around. You could, do, you could fight all your battles for you if that was the case. There are hit rates. We haven't seen too many misses yet. And that no stamina consumption is really good. The prince. Your yeah, they're in trouble. I put, I, I put the Prince and Chloe together next time and then just mix it up so everybody get, kind of gets becomes friends with each other, you know? But if there has a com some kind of companion, uh, you know, unit closeness thing, there has to be a reason it's there. Maybe they do better or more skills or special skills if they're, they work together more, so I kind of want to spread that out. Healing. Oh god, Chloe, you're so good. Yep, death. A fine bout. <laughs> to me. This one's mine. Oh, he's so close, level three. Done and dusted. All right. No, I you want. Got it. There they are, and then you guys move down here. I'm not gonna have him do all the heavy lifting, I just need him to do some damage. Stars play me enemy stamina I represent the relative strength of their unit. We have three stars depending on their strength, and the three star rating is the commander of a given battle stage. Okay. Oh, it's, oh, it's still cutscene. Okay. It's like, consider saving now. Being a strategy unit of this style, I, I appreciate the whole, uh, Save anywhere. Alright, we'll, we'll let him go in for one, then we'll send our guys in. I shall hold nothing back. So remember to, to get him off after this. Look who finally came knocking. Is that Patrick Warburg? I am with you. I have you. Oh, don't kill him, don't kill him, don't kill him. Okay, 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 perfect, perfect, perfect. Stand true. 
I got mash like a mother after this, because I don't want to get uh, the final kill. X. Oh, you gotta use Valor soon. It takes a Valor point, right? Yeah. First strike to ally rate. Oh, that's cool. Okay, X, X, X. You move here. You move here. And you guys can stay the course. I am yours to command, Your Highness. The time is at hand. So we can use his, which is three valor points. Excellent. All right, let's see. You should be able to kill him. And if we do, we get double experience. Come then. Yeah, I like these odds. Apologies, but I fear we lack the time for pleasantries. <laughs> Figures. Let's get it over with then. No, this is Brock Sampson. Right? No, I uh, sounds like it. Oh, okay. Super good skill. Two levels in one fight. Man, he has S rank in physical defense, and two levels up only got one physical defense. Okay, stats are going to be hard in this game. Oh, plus 10 max HP. Ooh, okay. Should probably go to Magani's Garden. Hooray! Is that good or bad? Alone, are you? What happened to your friends? Long gone by now. But with all the time about them? Never could have done without you lot chasing me halfway to hell and back, though. Now I know that voice. The fort's empty, your majesty. Not a soul in sight. Guy laid out the bait, and we just had to take a nibble. Strange. Few leaders would play the sacrificial lamb in such a predicament. <laughs> Don't flatter yourself. I would have shook you off like weak old mud if I hadn't heard my leg in our little scuffle. But hey, that's just part of the job. You're gambling with your life the second you take that coin. Then you know how this ends. Stay your blade, Lex. There's something I need to ask him. What does Galerius want with Scarlet? I'll take any scraps of information you may have. Please. You do realize I'm just hired steel. Yeah, they keep my pockets nice and heavy, and that's as far as my curiosity goes. So, sorry, but I'm not a questions kind of guy. At least not past my bottom line. Well, what do we do with him? Let's say I offered to fill those pockets instead. What then? <laughs> First, I'd ask if you still had all your marbles, but I'm not the discriminating type. As long as the pace, right? If this is supposed to be a joke, I'm not laughing. We're trying to beat the enemy, not hire them. It's not every He's day a you come across a man willing to greet the heavens in order to see his allies safe. Now, our aim is to liberate these lands from the oppressive clutches of Zenoira and its emperor. I'd ask your aid in that battle. You know, I had heard you were nothing more than the crumbs of some spineless resistance that got chewed up and spat back out. Never would have guessed you're really just a pack of reckless lunatics. This so-called lunatic is none other than Prince Elaine, true-born heir to the Cornian throne. And our war is a righteous one. <laughs> You're trotting around the crown brat of a dead and gone kingdom trying to flip a whole damn empire? Sorry, kids, but I don't like them odds. It doesn't sound like he's interested. <laughs> Hope you know I don't come cheap. Does that mean you'll join us? Granted, you're willing to foot the bill. King Megan's not an everyday job for a merc, but you've seen enough to know I'm worth a gold more. So we got. I know we beat you pretty easily. We'll even cut you a little discount. Now that we've settled matters here, we move to rescue Scarlet. Time grows short. Indeed, it's more than evident Galerius had some grand purpose in kidnapping her. Can I not save here? 
No, I'll just, I'll just have to kill him. I saved it before I fought him, so I'll just have to do that final part again and get the levels up and everything like that one. Because I'm going to one right here because it's going to go along. But that is possibly it for Unicorn Overload, unless you want to see it. I do like it because this does play a lot like Ogre Battle. and I mean, there's a lot of these big maps, this one, but like Liberating Towns, all that kind of stuff. It does have that feel to it, but it also addresses a lot of complaints I had with Ogre Battle when I was playing it a long time ago. I like the the customization of the units. It has, like I said, that kind of has a real and each different slots and different uh, groups and everything like that that has a very Soul Nomad feel to it. So I think it's a good merging of a lot of games I like, but I think each one has mechanical problems. And so far, like I was worried we're gonna, I was worried it's gonna be like almost like a, like a land grisser situation where it's like, oh man, if you are fighting the wrong type of enemy, you are basically screwed. But like, no, this is actually pretty fun and easy right now. I like the art style. So far, the story's interesting enough. I know it's going to be a bigger story than this one because there's going to be some bigger bad. There always is. But like, interesting. Combat's good. Art's good. Music's good. The voice acting's good. Like, this is just a really good game. So if you guys want me to keep going with this one, let me know and I'll, I'll uh, when I'm done with another series, I will slot this in to be the next one available. But until next time, thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys later.